Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the Scalable Informatics booth at ISC 13 in Leipzig, Germany, and I'm here with Russell. Russell, I got to ask you about this press release you guys put out. It was a, about a new benchmark with SSDs and solid state, and uh, it looked pretty groundbreaking. But I, I had trouble getting through all the specs and things. What was it about? Yeah, so that was our stack benchmark. Um, it's not one that's really familiar to a lot of people within HPC. It's a uh, a benchmark that comes out of the financial com community. It's tick databases, so basically uh, stock data aggregated over time. Um, and there's a series of benchmarks to test how fast you can query certain results. Um, this is a kind of a staple in the financial industry. Um, we ran them about a, a couple weeks ago, and we had some, some pretty good results. Uh, we got a third of the top fastest times on those benchmarks on public record. Um, our other two-thirds were right in there with the leaders. Uh, some of our times were two to four x faster. Uh, but that's, I think, not the thing we're most excited about. It's uh, the hardware we did it in. Uh, we did it all in a 4U box with 60 drives. Uh, some of the other competitors that ran that benchmark are running entire racks of systems. Uh, we're talking hundreds of drives, many SSDs. Uh, their clients have four cores, four sockets. We're doing on two sockets. So uh, we're providing a lot of performance in a really tight footprint. So is this, I mean all benchmarks say this, but is this one representative of workloads or it's trying to look like one, do you think it's a good representation? Yeah, it's, I mean, the, the uh, I'm new to the field, but I found our clients tend to, to listen to this benchmark. It's, um, it's, it's, it's got some credence to them. Uh, obviously there are other ways, other underlying technologies to do this sort of query, but um, it's a good apple to apples comparison. It's kind of a very regulated, um, maintained benchmark that other vendors will run against. Um, and so it's, we feel it's, an, it's a great way for us to verify what we claim. We claim we build some of the fastest storage gear, um, and our benchmarks prove it. So, uh, you know, Joel Landman kind of goes on this kick, but uh, IOPS are not, uh, uh, your IOPS are not the same as mine or something. But, right. But, it, but that's the unit of measurement in this benchmark, is it not? Um, it's, it's, I, it's a bit of both. It's IOPS plus throughput. Um, that's where, so the, the box we're doing it on, it's our um, Psi flash box. We get 64 SSDs in it. Uh, we can, for throughput, push close to 30 gigs on file system on RAID. Uh, raw, 30 plus gigs. IOP wise, millions, three to four million IOPS. Um, it's a it's a screamer. So so this the Sci Flash is a fast device, and this is a good good proof point. Uh, uh, what kind of customers need this kind of a uh, uh, fast IO? Uh, well, we're finding that a lot of our financial customers are interested in it. These are people who um, disk latency, disk consistency matters, um, the ability to basically query results faster than, than their competition, um, to do it in a way that's affordable. Um, and if you can do it in a 4U rather than 42Us, that, that adds to some of our affordability. Um, we've actually taken these uh, SciFlash units and built them into a slightly different configuration we call the SciCloud. That combines um, more cores, more disks into a single rack. Um, and we ran some benchmarks on those recently. Got 90 gig a second throughput, 11 million IOPS in a single rack. So not only can you, you, you scale like in-house, but with the, the cloud solution, you can do the I.O. there and, and, and provide a good solution? Yeah, yeah. Our boxes, their standalone performance is good, but we also have the ability to kind of stack them together in, um, and vary the disk to compute ratio to find the right compute ratio. Um, something we specialize in is the whole tightly coupled compute. Uh, you can actually run your compute directly within the storage boxes. There's not many vendors that really encourage you to do that. Uh, we build with that in mind. And the, uh, sci, uh, the our sci, sci, our site cloud stuff is basically our um, stacking these together in ratios that make sense for different customers. How many cores do you need per spindle? And we'll, we'll, we can leverage uh, different core counts, different spindle counts to get you into your performance range that you want to be in.